across Oklahoma. Good evening, everyone. Tulsa leaders dedicated the new John Hope Franklin Reconciliation Park today. It is a major milestone in the effort to remember the events of the race riot. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan is live with our top story. Emery? Well, while most parks are for recreation, this one is for remembrance, both of a great historian and of one of Tulsa's worst moments in history. For most, it was a first close-up look at John Hope Franklin Reconciliation Park. The Tower of Reconciliation is a bronze sculpture that winds through the history of Oklahoma and the 1921 race riot. First designed as an indoor display, it has become the central element of the park. And having it sitting in the middle of this park changes the whole you know, formula uh, you know, that we started out with. And I'm really glad it turned out this way because people can see this thing from the freeway. They can see it driving up and down the street and they would not have seen it inside that building. The leaders of the effort to recognize Franklin and remember the race riot <laughs> cut the ribbon to the park. John Hope Franklin's son says it's a fitting tribute to honor his father, the historian, with a park that reveals history. This is a history that has been hidden, obscured, ignored. And uh, this park brings it to light. And join hands and hearts with a resolve to build on the past and erect a society of which we can all be proud. John Hope Franklin was the son of a race riot survivor. He became a leading scholar on black history. He died last year, shortly after the groundbreaking on the park. This reconciliation park is just the beginning of what could be here one day. The whole place was built to the standards of the National Park Service in the hope it eventually could be folded into that system. And there's also plans to build a center of reconciliation to bring some science to the study of race relations. We can tell the nation the story of a whole community decimated by hate, but rebuilt by a community full of hope. John Hope Franklin Park is already educating children about one of Tulsa's worst moments and one of its most accomplished citizens. And with this milestone completed, the work to raise money and build the Center for Reconciliation begins. Emory Bryan.